Iranian military bases, which were not known to world, destroyed in Israel's first. This post received a score of 9,500, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Knownst to Israel, but unbeknownst to us. That's all we needed, a Druish princess. Druish princesses are often attracted to money, in power. Knock on my door, knock next time. Did you see anything? No, Mr. Netanyahu, I didn't see you playing with your dolls again. Fuck, even in the future nothing works. They were known to Israel and Israel let Iran know how vulnerable they really are. They probably know where Khomeini is at every minute as well. If this was a joke, well played. No, I genuinely believe they know where the Ayatollah is. The reason he is alive is because Israel does not want to kill a head of state. If he is realistically going to be replaced by his son, I don't know what will happen. It's Khamenei that's currently Ayatollah, not Khomeini, who has been dead for decades and probably isn't going much of anywhere. But Marge, it works on any Ayatollah. Is it weird that the only reason I knew that Khomeini is dead is because of Homer Simpson? What has that show not done? Increase support for nuclear power. IDK, Homer fucks up a lot at work and Springfield's still there somehow. Maybe it's not so bad. Wasn't a place called Springfield in the news for something recently? There's a lot of opinions on what the US is doing here, but remember there's a decent chance that behind the scenes, the US is saying, we're good if you attack this secret nuclear base, but we'll publicly deny and condemn. I think it really was. Don't attack these sites and we'll give you all these weapon systems. Plus, you might want to hit these unknown sites. We really wouldn't like it if you blew up these specific sites right here circled in red on this map, and it would be a shame if something happened to them. I mean, if you're going there anyway might as well hit these coordinates with one of these guys while you're at it. Does, did, Iran also sell those missiles to Russia? Yes, there are three things such attacks can achieve. Rated from least bang to most. 1. Theatrix and face saving, basically what Iran's earlier attacks achieved. 2. Capability degradation. Israel's attack does appear to have achieved something here, both taking out air defense and rocket component manufacturing. The latter is likely to have a longer lasting impact. 3. The best one. This attack created a dilemma for Putin. In a war, you always want to be giving your opponent dilemmas. He can continue asking Iran to set the Middle East on fire using its proxies, and Israel will take a Creating a dilemma for Putin, yes. Iran has sent a lot of shard drones to Rusia and helped Rusia build a plant to produce more, which Ukraine has already targeted and partly destroyed at least once. Iran also provided Rusia with ballistic missiles, they likely also supply the Houthis in Yemen and Hezbollah. If I remember the story correctly, Israel knocked out the missile solid fuel mixing machines, 22 of them, at about US $2 million each. Iran doesn't have the capabilities to make their own solid fuel mixes, they must be imported from either Rusia or China, at this point probably. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com without any human intervention.